Hi everyone, I'm Amy. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today's workout has been a, has been requested for many, many, many people, and it is going to be a slow, full body dumbbell training workout. And it will be longer. I've got a couple other ones that are maybe 30 minutes. This is gonna be about 40 minutes. And I have dropped my weight down to five pounds. In my other videos, I did, I think, eight pounds. So choose whatever size dumbbell that you want to use. Everyone is different with their fitness level, strength level. We will be focusing on strength, range of motion, flexibility, balance, a ton of core. Obviously, when you're doing balance work, our core, your core really gets a workout too. So let's do a little bit warm up together and let's get started. Okay, stand with your feet wider than hip. We are gonna go right into our warm up opening up the back and the chest have your neck neutral loose arms switch direction <clears throat> and like i said actually if you've got multiple sizes of dumbbells maybe grab those because some exercises some parts of the body for me at least are stronger than others but i'm just going to stick with my fives the entire workout okay over and under really opening up the chest neutral neck Big circles forward. Please open up your fingers. Switch direction. Keep your core in, in tight, engaging, sucking it in. A little bit of neck stretching. Really ease into the neck. Don't just rush into it too quickly. You want to just ease in. And key word of this workout is slow. Slow dumbbell training. I love it. Slow is awesome. You can really focus. Hopefully you are more conscious or you are conscious. Okay, we're going to warm up the legs just a little bit. We are going to doing, be doing a little bit of squatting and lunging. Okay, core is tight. Make sure the weight is in your heels. Ten more from here. That was one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opening up hips. Have your hands on your waist. Slowly raise up alternating legs with a point in your foot. Okay, six more. One, <clears throat> two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, grab those dumbbells. We are going to sh start with alternating shoulder presses up. Stand with your feet wider than hip width, and we are going to do alternating arms up for 20. So this is one. Two, make sure you have tightness in your arms as you lift the weights up. That was four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, neutral neck, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Now we're going to do both arms up <clears throat> for shoulder presses, lifting out opposite legs to the side with flexed feet. Okay, so we are going to start with feet together. Weights are here. We're going to start with kicking the right leg out. Both arms are going to go up on this with the flexed foot. Remember, slow. Twenty from here. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
One, neutral neck. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Nice. Back to wider than hip width. We're going to do a hammer curl, slight bend in both of your knees, core is engaged, shoulders and chest are back and up. <clears throat> we're going to do alternating um, bicep uh, tri uh, hammer curls. And what you're going to do is you're going to hammer here and then you're going to twist the wrist for like the last couple of inches. You're going to do alternating arms. Remember, don't just lift the weight. You're tightening the biceps before you even lift the weights up. So flex, keep them flexed. Okay, from here, 20 more. One. Slow. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight nine, 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20. Shake the arms out. We're gonna do high knees with both arms doing hammer curls with the twist at the very last couple of inches. So core tight, shoulders and chest back and up. We're gonna start with the right knee up first. And one. Give yourself a little pause right here. Two. Three. Foot is flexed. Four, five, six, find a focal point. It really helps and engaging in the tummy. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Focus on your breath. One, remember, tighten those arms. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and 20. Beautiful work. Okay, we're gonna have feet hip width apart. We're gonna focus on triceps here. So you get those elbows up. <clears throat> we're actually gonna do a little bit of a bent knee and then on the back of the tricep movement you're going to come up with your body but make sure your neck is neutral you can really strain the neck if you don't pay attention and also focus on your breath so elbows are up neck is neutral shoulder blades are squeezed together we're going to do 25 of these please follow my pace all right here we go so just think out on the up one two three four Weight in your heels of your shoes. Five, six. If you don't have shoes on, make sure the weight's in your heels. Seven, eight, nine. Remember, slow. Ten, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 20, last five, one, two, three, four, whew, and 25, wow. Okay, palms are going to face. We're gonna open up hips now, starting with <clears throat> right hip first. Let me show you what I mean, okay? Palms face, feet together on the start. You're gonna raise arms up as you open up the right hip. Please don't do what I just did. Focal point, core tight. And this is what it's gonna look like. One, just like that, okay? And then you'll go right to the other side. Re you're gonna notice right away what hip is tighter, okay? So we're gonna do 20 of these, slow. Okay, feet together and a focal point. And one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Really feeling this in my traps and my shoulders and my biceps. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Stay with it. Drop your weight if you're too heavy. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Okay, shake out those arms. We're gonna focus on inner thighs. So go really wide with your feet and have your toes angled out, okay? From here, palms are going to be facing each other. All of us will be different with this move too, with our depth of our, um, the squat motion that we're gonna be making. So pause here, shoulders and chest back and up, and then you're gonna have a slight bend in both elbows on the lift up. 20, starting now, heavy tailbone. One, neutral neck. Two. Remember, there's no reason to rush. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, and also don't lock your knees on the up, okay? Gentle, soft knees. There's 10, halfway. Breathe, shoulders away from your ears. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Beautiful, keep your feet right where they are. Palms are going to face out. We're gonna go back to working biceps. We are actually gonna stay down as we do the bicep work, okay? Keep tightness into those biceps. Stay low if you can. We're gonna go up with both arms for 20, staying low. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three. Make sure your body weight is evenly distributed on the mat. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, one, two, three, feel the burn, four, go a little deeper if you can, five, six, seven, challenge yourself, eight, nine and ten toe heel toe heel toe heel wow <clears throat> lunge we're gonna go back to triceps so weights are going to actually go up this time we're going to start with left foot forward go as deep as what feels right for you on these on the, on the lunge okay so we're going to Bend the elbows on the down of the lunge, and then we're gonna raise up for balance, and then you're gonna go right back into it for 10. So this is one. Pause right here. And two. Three. Focus on your breath. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh. Other side. So we lunge back with right foot. Now we're going to lunge back with a left. Find a new focal point. Okay, stepping back with left, same thing, weights come up. Okay, bent elbows on the down, up, on the up for 10. There's one, two, three, you can always put your weights down to rest your arms for and just do lunges with balance five six seven eight nine and 10, wow. Let's drop the weights down and give ourselves, I just realized we haven't, at least I haven't taken the weights out of my hands since we started. Okay, the next move is going to be a side lunge. And actually I'm gonna take both of my weights and put them in my right hand first. So we're gonna start right here. You're gonna step out into a side lunge. Weight is gonna be pushing back into your right glute. Left leg is straight, right knee is bent. Make sure you're not pushing your right knee forward. Very important. We're gonna come right here for 10, really slow. Okay, so grab those weights. Don't be surprised if I drop one of these weights onto the ground just to, um, if it's too much weight, but we'll see here. Okay, for 10, you can put wherever you wanna put your left hand, make it comfy for you. So here's one. Remember pushing that right glute out, two, three, focusing on that right bicep, four, five, great flexibility work here, six, neutral neck, seven, eight, really firing up the inner thigh on the left, and quad, seven, eight, nine, 
intense, slowly come out of it, switch sides. You will also notice the side of the hip area that is more flexible or even inner thigh. Don't be surprised if you're feeling that. Okay, 10 more. One, this side's much easier for me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, nice. So go back to center, Ooh. curtsy lunges. One of my favorite lunges are curtsy lunges. Okay, we're gonna start with feet together. Taking the right foot behind the left. Weights are going to go straight out with a slight bend in both elbows. Now, so we're gonna go down with the curtsy lunge. Make sure you're not leaning forward. So you're gonna go down, weight is in the left glute, and then you're gonna raise up just like this very slowly for 10, uh, for, or actually we're gonna do 12, and then we'll switch sides, no alternating, just stay on one side. Okay, here we go, good luck, core tight. It's a little bit of balance work, you're on the tippy toe on the back foot for 12, and ready, and go, remember, up, up and out on the up, one for 12, weight in the left glute, two, go as deep that feels comfortable on the curtsy lunges, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, tight arms, nine. Legs are starting to shake, it's a good thing, 10. 11, and 12. Slowly bring the waist down. Okay, other side. <clears throat> Wrapping the left foot behind the right now. Same exact exercise, pushing the right glute back now. Weight out on the up. Keep that chest open, core tight. Okay, ready? And for 12. And remember, key word is slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, oh, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Oh, good stuff. Okay, we're gonna focus on really deep squats, only if it feels right for you. Okay, so. Deep squats, everybody is different with their squats. Biggest thing is weight in the heels, core tight, and to not round or arch your back. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna focus on shoulders again. We're gonna do L-shaped arms. So on the up of the squat, you're gonna raise the arms out just like that. We're gonna focus on 15 of them. I'm gonna do my PR on my squats today on YouTube, deepest ever, okay? I'm gonna do my best. So my feet, are a teeny bit wider than my hips. Just FYI on that, okay, here we go. And, oh yes, this is good. One. Two, I've really been working on these squats. Three. Four. My right hip is slowly getting loose, five, oh, six, seven, 
eight. We're gonna do 15, nine, 10, come on, we can do this. Five more. One. I'm really starting to sweat, it feels good. Two. Three. Four. 15, put the weights down please and shake the arms out, nice. Okay, we're gonna do one more thing. Sun's really shining through the window, beautiful. We're not gonna have weights in our arms on this, we're gonna do froggy squats before we, go, before we go on to the mat to work our chest. So have your feet as wide as your yoga mat. And I always like to have my hands together or grip them like this, whatever is good for you. And we're gonna isolate a little quicker than what we've been doing, but not crazy quick where we lose our form. We're gonna go up for 50, weight back, one. Two, three, four, five. Focus on your hamstrings, your quads, and your glutes. There's 10, 40 more. One, two, flat back, core tight. Three, four, five. Weight in your heels. Six, seven, eight, nine, 20, 30 more. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, twenty more. One, feel the burn. Two, neutral neck. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and four. 50, 50, 50. Okay, slowly come up. Let's do a little stretch together. 10 second quad stretch. One, <coughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and switch. One, two, really feel the stretch in your quad. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, slowly go down onto the mat on your back. And grab your dumbbells. We're gonna just start with bent knees, have your feet hip width apart. I'm scooch my hair over. <coughs> okay, chest press. Push that spine into the mat. We're going to go slow on these. Straight up. Angle the weights a teeny bit right there in. Okay, we're going to do 30 of these. One. I'm, a reminder, I'm not just lifting my weights. I am tightening my arms before I even lift the weights up and my chest. Flex, flex, flex. That was six. Seven. Eight, also neutral neck is very important. Nine, 10, 20 more. One, engaging in the core. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 20, tight, tight body. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30, okay, lift the right foot off the mat. We are going to do 15 more chest presses with kicking the right leg out, hovering the right heel over your mat, flexed foot for 15. So this is one, really focus on lower tummy. And two, three, four, 
three, engaging in the core. Four. Five. Don't forget to keep those arms and chest tight. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Don't let that back come off the mat. Ten, five more. One. Two. Three. Four. Fifteen. Switch. Left leg out. One. Two. And don't let your right spin. Right knee spill out to the right. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. One, two, three, four, and 15. Beautiful, beautiful work. Okay, have your legs wide, pushing the spine into the mat and your heels into the mat. We're gonna go into chest flies, 430, tight arms. This is one pushing the, I'm actually in my top, which is I'm dropping my, my tailbone down. Five, six, seven, really tighten the chest to eight, nine, 10, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Last ten. Don't give up, please. One. We can do hard workouts too. Oh. Getting shaky. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Bring the legs off of the ground. Okay, we're gonna do 15 more flies. So when the weights come up, the knees come in. Oh, so slightly, both feet are flexed, just like this. And if you can, lift the tailbone off of the ground. So this is one, watch the back, two. It's a little bit of a rocking motion, three. But have control with your arms, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. Really feel the tummy. One, and the chest, and the arms. Two. Three, four, and 15. Whew. Okay, have your weights above your head. Palms are facing. Head never comes up. And we're just going to put the weight, our leg in between our weights for 20. So this is going to be one flexed foot. You can have obviously a slight bend in your knees if you have to. Two, it's great flexibility work. 
Remember, don't rush it slow. Three. Really feeling this in my triceps. Four, that's the object. Core, back of the legs, a nice stretch. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Push that spine down. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 20. Okay, feet off the ground. Your weights are going to be like this. So we're gonna open up when the weights touch, have them touch oh so slightly, is when, so it's gonna, we're gonna focus on chest. You're gonna do a little bit of a tailbone, hips up off of the ground for 20. So this is one and two. You're doing good. Three, stay with it. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, tight arms, tight chest, focus on your form, three. Focus on your breath. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 20. Okay. I wanna do one more thing. No weights, just you. Hands behind your head, really support the neck. We're just going to finish with 100 crunches. I'm gonna count out every one very slow and isometric. So it's gonna look like this, pushing the spine into the mat just like that. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Stay with it. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy, one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one hundred. Let those legs go out. Stretch the arms way above your head. Flex those feet. Push the spine down. One big breath in and hold it and then release it for a five second count. Give yourself a hug and a good job and look at my hair sticking straight out. Wow, that was awesome. So let me know what you thought. Please subscribe if you have not subscribed. I love showing up and being an influence to all of you. And thank you all for your support. I literally wouldn't be able to do this without you. So thank you so, so much and have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you, also my heart to your heart. Okay, bye. Thank you.